is offered for the following intentions for peace in the Nerona family, thanksgiving for blessings received by the Pierce family, for the souls of Gerard D'Souza being the first death anniversary, Joe and Esmeralda Dice, Noel Gracious, Royce D'Souza, Genzo Pereira, Violet and Joseph Mesquita, Colette Hills, William Falcon, Matthew Norona, Rocky and Maria Fernandez, Joe Montero, and Nazareth Vernon Quinney. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we gather around the Eucharistic table with praise and thanksgiving in our hearts, let us also seek pardon and forgiveness for all our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule, and that your church may rejoice untroubled in her devotion. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. I will give thanks to you and praise you and I will bless the name of the Lord. While I was still young, before I went on my travels, I sought wisdom opening in my prayer. Before the temple, I asked for her and I would search for her to the last. From blossom to ripening grape, my heart delighted in her. My foot entered upon the straight path. From my youth I followed her steps. I inclined my ear a little and received her. I found for myself much instruction. I made progress therein, to which to him who gives wisdom I will give glory. For I resolved to live according to wisdom, and I was zealous for the good, and I shall never be put to shame. My soul grappled with wisdom, and in my conduct I was strict. I spread out my hands to the heavens, and lamented my ignorance of her. I directed my soul to her, and through purification I found her. I gained understanding with her from the first, therefore I will not be forsaken. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Our response is, the precepts of the Lord are right, they gladden the heart. Kindly listen to the tune. 
precepts of the Lord are right, they gladden the heart. The precepts of the Lord are right, they gladden the heart. The Lord, the Lord is perfect, He revives the soul. The decrees of the Lord are steadfast, they give wisdom to the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, they gladden the heart. The precepts of the Lord are right, they gladden the heart. The command of the Lord is clear. It gives light to the eyes. The precepts of the Lord are right, they gladden the heart. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let the word of Christ dwelling in richly, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus and the disciples came again to Jerusalem. And as he was walking in the temple, the chief priests and the scribes and the elders came to him, and they said to him, By what authority are you doing these things? Or who gave you this authority to do them? Jesus said to them, I will ask you one question. Answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Was the baptism of John from heaven or from man? Answer me. And they discussed it with one another, saying, If we say from heaven, he will say, Why then did you not believe him? But shall we say from man, They were afraid of the people, For they all held that John really was a prophet. So they answered Jesus, We do not know. And Jesus said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I do these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. As soon as the Lord began his ministry, the people who were listening to him and watching his various good deeds were quite awestruck. And at the same time, there were many people who looked at him with eyes of skepticism. They really couldn't believe the good things that he was doing. And they also questioned his background from where he came. And in today's gospel, we find that they are questioning his authority. Because everything that he said and he did was with a certain air of goodness a certain brand of spirituality and they couldn't really fathom from where he had the power to do these things. But all through his life, our Lord had made it very clear that his authority came from God. But then, because those who were watching him were not able to fathom that, were not able to understand, he asked them a counter question. And that is when they are so stumped that they cannot answer. So the Lord himself says, since you have no answer, I will not answer you. But going through the scriptural text, we know that this authority came from God. He shared a relationship with God the Heavenly Father, a relationship of love, of complete trust and obedience. And it was God who kept inspiring him and at the same time strengthening him to do great things in his name. As disciples of the Lord in the world today, we do need that strength. We do need that inspiration. 
So we need to build up this relationship with Jesus and our Heavenly Father. We do this through our prayer and our obedience to His Word. And as we keep praying, let us pray that like Jesus, we may always wield the authority that comes to us from our Heavenly Father, who loves us, who cares for us, who forgives us. Amen. O God, provide gifts to be offered to your name and count our oblations as signs of our desire to serve you with devotion. We ask of your mercy that what you grant as the source of merit may also help us to attain merit's reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father of mercies and faithful God. For you have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners. And he became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he announced to the world that you are our Father and that you care for all your children. And so, with all the angels and saints, we exalt and bless your name and sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when as once for the disciples so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. Oh, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, Holy Father, as
as we celebrate the memorial of Christ your Son, our Saviour, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favour on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Oswald, our Bishop, with all the bishops, priests, and deacons, and the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters, inspire in us words and actions, to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs and all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom of the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
never find rest until they find their rest in you. When you call me, I will answer. When you seek me, you will find. I will lead you back from exile and reveal to you my Let us pray. Abba Father, we thank you for your goodness and your blessings. And as we surrender, Lord, to your will, we pray that you may strengthen us through our lives, especially in our moments of grief, in our times of pain and despair, in our times of depression. And as we offer ourselves to you, we pray that you may strengthen us, heal us, and comfort us. We lift up to you the many people who are seeking our prayers and your healing in their lives. We pray for all those who have important decisions to make, those who are still in hospitals, those who are running helter-skelter for resources. We also lift up to you families that are suffering the loss of a loved one in their lives. Lord, we pray that as you bring them comfort in their grief, you may also strengthen them on their journey to bring comfort to the lives of others. Lord, as we place ourselves into your hands, we pray that you may always give us the strength to serve you and to proclaim your message wherever we go, in word and deed. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him in the morning, praise Him in the noon time. Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him when the sun goes down. Love Him, Love him, love him in the morning, love him in the noontime. Love him, love him, love him when the sun goes down.